Well, hello, hello, hello. Welcome back to Pioneer Map. As you remember from the last episode, we had cut down that tree. Um, and I was busy transferring it by hand up to the wood chipper, which we'd found. We're down to the last couple of pieces. I think this might be the last piece, which we'll just carry up to the wood chipper and see how much we get. If you remember correctly, we need to get 10,000 litres so that we can stake a claim to the land, to this land, the size of which we don't know at this point in time. So it might just be what we can see here. And, uh, um, well, it's still something that we can uh, make some sort of subsistence living out of, uh, bearing in mind that we have to keep supplying the heating industry once we stake the claim. So we will be getting some sort of commission from the... Um, from the heating plant for that. Any case, let's have a look and see how much we get from this. I don't think it's going to be an awful lot. Let's have a look. Come on, there we go. And we're about 3,800. Nowhere near. So we'll have to cut down another tree. Have to find something nice and big. Um, this looks like a suitable candidate. Yeah, it's big. We'll get it down. We'll uh, chop it down. Or we'll fell it. And uh, cut it up. Get it up to the uh, to the wood chipper and find out how much we get out of it. There we go. Let's cut it down. Let's get it fairly close to the bottom. Leave it enough of a stump because we'll have to, at some point in time, take these stumps out if we're going to make any fields or otherwise we'll be tripping over them all the time. If not us, any machinery which hopefully we'll be able to get. At this stage, as I'm sure you remember, all I've got is a chainsaw and my trusty steed. Illusion. There we go. Alright, so I'll get this trimmed down and uh, see you once I've uh, sawn everything up and uh, got it up to the wood chipper. Let's go and trim those leaves off. See you at the wood chipper. Well, there we go. Only a few more pieces still to bring up. Ah, oh, tell you what, this little hill kills me. Carrying a hundred kilos of uh, log up here, man, I could do with a, uh, I could do with a beer. But at this point in time, the only water I get is from the river just down the road. Although it's nice and clean, beautifully cool. So very refreshing. Is this the last piece? I think so. We'll take it up, have a quick check around, see if there's anything else, get this sold, and hopefully this takes us up to the 10. Will it? I'm not sure. It may. If not, hopefully, hopefully we'll, get, we'll get close. Even this wood is, I mean, that wood looks really, really good. So we definitely got to get furniture going somewhere along the line. There's a lot of wild grass here, which uh, we can cut as soon as we can buy some sort of cutting implements. A lawnmower, of, a lawnmower, just a mower. <laughs> lawnmower might take a while. In any case, let's get the salt. There we go. Going, going through, going through five. So we're halfway. Six. Come on, let's get and seven. Yeah, eight. Oh, about, about 1,400 still to go. Um, means we'll have to chop down another tree. I'm always a bit reluctant to chop down those. That's the closest tree, but um, uh, you can't just trim off their branches. Um, you have to cut the branches off individually. Although that does give you more wood, but they're um, not particularly straight, so... You don't get a good price for them at the sawmills, but 
oh, come to think of it, I think we'll do it because, you know, we're wood chipping again. So we can put those branches into the wood chipper, no problem. Where's the chainsaw? Come on, let's get going. Fatigue starting to set in, so taking me a little bit, taking a little bit of a breather every time. There we go. Let's get it going. So I'll chop this down and then um, so I say I'll fell it. Well, from now on, if I say chop something, it means I'm cutting it. Because <laughs> I guess it's not going to change. Any event, there we go. Cutting it down. What I will do is I'll take off one, one of the. Uh, One of the branches just to show you that it doesn't disappear like all the others do um, when you when you're cutting down the, um, the nice big spruce trees and cut that down. Oh, oh, right into my leg. Oh, I'm gonna go and get that scene too. So, and then I'll finish chopping this off and get you up to the wood saw. Yeah, we are. Back up at this, I've, I've cut it all up. Struggling up this hill now with a slightly bruised leg. Um, but I'm managing to do it. No hospital yet for me to go to or anything like that if that had been a worse in injury. And as we know, this sort of... Uh, This sort of endeavor, you just have to look after yourself. Even if you do get hurt, if you can still work, you've got to keep on going. Get these last few pieces up and then we'll uh, see whether we've got our 10,000 liters or not. Hopefully we have. We're going to stake our claim. And then uh, find out what we've got or we'll find out what we have to do. Really looking forward to see how big this land is. Well, well, they're a bit, um, a bit scared that it's only a, you know, a couple of acres. Really want something sizable to be able to diversify out from just making wood chips and supplying the heating industry. Really don't want that to be our sole sole function. Um, Want to be able to make some fields, make some furniture. There we go. We've got it. We've got it. Yeah, we can go and stake our claim. I'm gonna. Oh, this still this piece didn't take. Um, well, I'm gonna. I'm gonna. I'm gonna get that on because I don't want to leave it out here and uh, find out that uh, somebody else comes in and just adds a few logs onto. Onto the onto the wood pile as such, and um, and uh, gets down and uh, stakes a counterclaim uh, because they've um, supplied more when we've done all the work. So let's not leave that to chance. Yep, that's big. And that's that's small enough for me to carry over. Uh, you can see you can see these branches just aren't straight enough for furniture. So. Oh, in my haste to get that uh, wood chipped up, I forgot to put these in. Let's get them in now as well. As I said, we don't want to leave anything for anybody else to reap the benefits of our work as such. Here we go. Last piece in. We'll get that wood chipped, if that is a word. Let's get going. Yeah, so we're up to about thirteen thousand. Let's get let's get on the trusty steed. Come on, illusion, let's get going. We've got to rush into town. We've got to go and stake that claim, boy. We've done it. Well. 
it looks like we've done it. I'm sure there's nobody faster than you, so if we get into a nice gallop, keep it up into town, and uh, stake our claim. All very exciting. All very exciting. Our next main problem is trying to find out what we uh, what we're going to do with everything. How big the land is. Can we work it with just a chainsaw? And then we'll have to see how much commission we get, how quickly we can raise our funds up to buy some sort of machinery to. And that's of course uh, presuming that uh, um, that the heating plant will collect it. Yeah. Well, in the past, the locals said that there were trucks going up and down, so hopefully, hopefully they will collect it. But um, if not, um, with a thousand dollars, I don't know, maybe we can lease something, something really small to something small and old just to take stuff down bit by bit so that we can get things going. But that's the nature of these type of operations. You've got to try and take advantage of everything that comes your way. So here we go at the claims office, which is also the uh, the store, as I said. Let's go and stake our claim. Yes, we'd like to stake our claim. No problem. Oh, yeah. You say there's an old barn that might have some machinery in the back there? That comes with it. Well, there's an old barn that comes with it. Oh, the rumor is that it has some sort of machinery in there. All right, we'll go and have a look. Well, it looks like there's something in the back there. We'll leave that for the next episode. We'll go and explore around the back, see if we can find that old barn, see what's in there, see if there's anything that can help us. See if there's anything. Thank you for watching.